ladies and gentlemen, we are the RK Tokens. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. Damn, we didn't know who was second. I'll go second. I'm okay. Patrick Cloud. I am Will Farrow, along with Limitless here. Limitless. Mjolnir. Mjolnir? Mjolnir. 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 <laughs> what are we uh, playing today, Cleo? Today on Retro Gaming, we are playing one of my all-time favorite games, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Nice. Uh, this is definitely in the top 10 PlayStation games, PS1 games, I yeah. think, of all time. Uh, there's people out there who thinking they've beaten this game. Gotten to 100% and thought that was it. Yeah. Turns out, no, 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 no. Right. There's, there's actually more to the game. Mm -hmm. And to actually beat the complete game, you gotta get to 200.6%. That's so dumb. You beat the game, you beat the final boss, and mm -hmm. then you have to go to this other little place, and the whole castle flips upside down. Nowadays, they would have just called that 50%, though. Right. Good point. Right. Good point. <laughs> right. Good point. So You're almost was, there. So even, this was originally on PlayStation, not Super Nintendo or anything? Uh, there was some Castlevanias for Super Nintendo, I believe okay. for Nintendo as well. Yeah. Uh, but when Symphony of the Night came out, man, this was just something so different and special. We hadn't seen anything like this. And this is straight up PlayStation. This was not on any other thing. Symphony of the Night? Yeah. I believe it was just straight PlayStation. Yeah. Okay. They kept this, the retro graphics, I like that. I got I've a really special this. memory with this game because Richter, which is in the new Super Smash here. Brothers, Smash. this is who they brought out, the, the Belmont. He has some luxurious long hair in this. I don't think he you has that. Did you see it? My yeah. man had the locks, bro. Why did they cut his hair for Smash Bros? Good point. I think, I think like later on in some of them, like he did get his hair cut. Because I think in the, the Netflix show, his hair is cut. How many are there? Oh, that's one of the Belmonts. That's not the one, but yeah, oh, that's one of the Belmonts. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen the Netflix show? No. The Castlevania? Really good, man. It is? It's a really yeah. good one. So there's Simon Belmont and Richter Belmont? Simon Belmont, Richter Belmont, and the brothers? Trevor Belmont. What? Yeah. Are they all brothers? Uh, no, I think it's Descendants. Oh, yeah. got it. Here we go. Now I gotta fight Dracula. Let's get it. Oh. Right off the rip? Yeah, off is this the level rip? Off rip. Boss battle. Let's go. This is how you play a game with some real life boss battles, all right? Not, Not too long ago, Mr. Battle. Cloud wanted us to play Abe's Odyssey. Not one boss battle. So you did like Little Nightmares? No, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. What? I appreciate the creepiness of Little what? Nightmares. But what? But what? You never played any of the Telltale games that are all decision based? Nah, I never played that. Man, you got Did you play LL in the War? Nope. LL in the War is my sword. I'm gonna have to walk you through that one. Mm hmm. That's literally like. It's kind of like uh -oh. a. Uh, what are over there? Smacking Dracula up. Oh, trying to get rid of him faster so we can hurry up and get to the real gameplay because turns out in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you do not play as Richter Belmont. Ever? No. In the beginning, you do. Yeah. But the rest of the game, you actually play as Alucard, which what to is Dracula backwards, which is Dracula's son. Ah. Aha. Yeah. Aha. 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 He's right. throwing more what? things at you because he's powerful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is Dracula's uh, backwards again? Alucard. 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 That yes. seems forced. Really, Pat? That seems forced. Really? Come on, man. Like here's uh, the, a werewolf backwards. Oh. Full. Full. And I was like, go, go, go for it again. <laughs> You're not doing it. Do it, do it again. Put werewolf be backwards. Arrow, arrow, flower, flower, flower. It's like yeah, that's Flo our main character's name. It's like really. <laughs> I gotta get through this. Jesus Christ. So does cold. does this Richter die? Richter's supposed to die. Um, if I let him die right now, right? Somebody from an old game will come and tell me, hey, give you strength. Matter so, of fact, I'm gonna let him do it. Look, look, look. Little Princess Peach looking girl. Right? Oh, she gave you, she gave you all the powers. Ah! 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 The powers oh, animals! <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me hurry up and get through this dang match, man. Come on. So you you can't die in this? In this very beginning, no. Okay. This is a part of it. You got to go, go ahead and knock this guy Because I was assuming Dracula was like a major boss. For him to just throw him at, throw it at you say first. that, but then wait a minute. You thought he was a major oh, boss until he pulls oh, up like this. Whoa. You were saying? Damn. Why is that little girl still here with this? Right? He put you in outer space. Can we get it? Uh, you are yeah, literally yeah, a yeah, time matter in yeah. the background. Right? Yeah, throw a cross at him. Yeah, yeah, uh, get him out of here. 
Ah, you here. defeated me. I'm Dracula. Really special memory I have with this game, guys. Uh, New Year's, maybe 1999. Okay. We were going to the year 2000. It was me and my brother. You thought the uh, world was going to end? Yep. That, that we were actually in Las Vegas. Our parents Reach went to out. Vegas for that. And, uh, Final weekend in Vegas. Pretty much. That's how they, <laughs> I think that's how they were planning it out. But me and my brother brought uh, not only our PlayStation, we also brought our N64. So two games that we just kept playing over and over again. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Okay. Because this is one of those games where if you didn't have a strategy guide, you, you were kind of lost. You weren't gonna do nothing. You were gonna have a hard time trying to get through it. Yeah. So there was we got lost and we never really got past a certain part, but we ended up figuring out later in life. But we played this game. And then we also played this the uh, N64 game Wave Racer. Yep. Yeah. Is that the jet yep. ski one? I got that. You have it? Yeah. We got to play that because we tried forever to be able to unlock the dolphin. And ride it? We could but not it never happened? I couldn't unlock the dolphin. Games like that had like, I don't get what the developers were going for, but they would have like an amazing feature and you had to beat it like six times in a row on hard and it's like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Why are you making it impossible? I'll just I'll just go online and see how other people did it. Big facts. <laughs> Big facts. Let me just watch gameplay of you on the dolphin. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> so, was this, this is the second one, right? It's Castlevania 2? Uh, I wouldn't call it, no, no, no. There's, this is like gotta be in the series. This maybe is like number five. Six. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. when, when did they cross over? Because this was originally a Nintendo game? Or Super Nintendo's Super and Nintendo's, Nintendo's, yeah, man. Okay. Didn't even Sega get like a game for Castlevania 2? One more time? Didn't even like Sega get like a Castlevania game? I'm pretty sure they did. Okay. So, so, this is Dracula's Castle, man. Okay. Was it the first one, Dracula's Castle? Yeah, it was still Dracula's Castle, but now we're showing up as Alucard. We're showing Got up it. to the castle like, yo. So Nintendo, you're Simon. So maybe. Super Nintendo, you're Simon from the movie? I yeah. think you're Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Richter maybe showed up in Super Nintendo's, maybe? Four? Okay, so you were Simon for three? Jeez. So, question. Let my man pull up with the cape on. Look at him, look at him. And this Mad hippish. So what happened to si Richter just now? He dead, he gone. Or so we think. Oh, they don't oh wow. Let's get this wolf out the way. Man, that was a big wolf. Just oh, is that you doing all that? It is me. Oh, I thought this was leading you to the start of the, nah, of the we game. back in the game, baby. Here we go. Oh, so right. this is, man, get him out of the way. Why'd they make them so big if they're just like Goomba strength? <laughs> right? right. Uh, uh. Now question, yep. you know, I think some, something the tokeners would love to know. Uh, Vampires. What about? If given the chance to be one. Would I be one? Are you taking it? What are the pros and the cons of, of being it? Oh, sorry. Kyle. Pros and sorry, the cons sorry. are you, you won't be as clumsy anymore. Damn. Uh, <laughs> pardon me. Hey, wait, we tried the keyboard. No, that never sits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, no, yeah. No, 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 you just no. let it sit there too? That with oh, is this an RPG? Can you level up? Yes, man. You level up. You get relics. You get spells. Uh, you Damn. can turn and you can transform into a bat. You could transform into a wolf. You could transform into to fog. Why so was through... si why was Richter added into Smash Bros. instead of this guy? Alucard. Alucard's in the game, but as a trophy, as an assist trophy. Okay. Okay. I can't help but notice they have very fire emblemy outfits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get that. I get where you're coming from with that. Especially in the animated ones on the side. Uh, okay, so you're, you're, you're fighting the mermen and it's lit. Dracula, yeah. zombies. There's everything in this castle. So we'll do my version of Vampire Man. Yeah, Pros and cons. Um, yeah, with it. You cannot immediately burn in the sun. Immediately. So how yeah. long I got in the sun? So, what so you're like is, a Twilight Vampire. No, 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 no. So what happens is it'll drain you of your power. The longer you stay out there, the worse it gets. Now keep in mind, the older you become, the faster it'll take. So we fresh out the gate vampire, we just start looking older and stuff. But at the night, we get replenished. Downside, you still got to drink blood. Death. Wow, you gotta fight death. Death. Oh, you are fighting death. Ah, uh, Alicorn. They're throwing some pretty business. major players at you right away. Right from the jump. Level one, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I, can't, I can't learn the controls first? <laughs> Level two, Zeus. Just like Jesus. Step aside, old man. This is one of the first ones that actually, like, said what was being Yeah, played. I was about to say, I'm hearing voices. Yeah, man. So, oh, death stripped me for everything. Oh, so they now, gave you full power. No more sword. Now I got a fist, fist bump, the demons. But they gave you everything right out the gate. From the jump, I had some powers. 
Okay, because you're like your Dracula's son. You have to start with something. Exactly. I and like then, games like that. They give you the full scape of how powerful they are and then take everything away. And yeah. strip kinda you like, ass yeah. naked. Kind of like how they did Kratos. Yeah. Them too. Mm -hmm. They had all that power and they took everything away. Mm. Mm. Now we got a one two it. punch. I've never seen a skeleton get punched in the face. Right in his forehead. That would hurt. It's a hard part of the school. I As like you were saying with the, the, the with the overall, oh, gotta get a health thing soon. That was for sure. Yeah, yeah. Heart. So vampire wise, y'all rock it or no? I don't know how I feel about the drunk blood drinking thing. Like I gotta kill somebody every time I'm hungry. Well, technically, no, you don't have to kill someone every time. I think that they've shown, like in history, vampires have shown a little bit more of an intelligence with it, like being able to uh, feel their heart rate when it's slowing down or becoming to a complete stop. And stuff, knowing how many quarts of blood are inside a human. Yeah, but it'd still be like, hey, that nigga tried to bite me and take my blood. Like, if you leave him alone. I mean, some of them got powers, though. You know, you can put them in a trance and they don't even remember that shit. I feel like I'd be the one that's like, I only eat animals and then, like, after, it's just crazy. Like, I wouldn't. Listen, if there's I. nothing appealing about that. If I could get the power of being able to jump really, really far and run really, really fast. And they make it seem like in every every vampire movie, they make it seem like kissing and sex with a vampire is like the ultimate level of ecstasy. Like, yeah, I don't like that. I don't. I'm not really a fan of that part. No, but let gross. me give you the powers. I'm cool with that. Okay, you don't. Low key, that even guy. like American Horror Story, when they started having like vampire blood sex and stuff, I turned that shit off. Vampire blood sex? Yeah, the one with the, the season in the hotel with Lady Gaga. Oh yeah, with Lady Gaga. Yeah, that was. There was all these like sex scenes where everybody was drinking blood and. Rubbing blood on each other. I was like, I'm straight. I feel like she requested that, like, her Lady Gaga. We were having this, I was having this discussion yesterday, uh, talking about, you know, when you're shooting a scene, right, filming wise, and what consent is. Like, how far are you willing to let go before, you know, you're interrupting someone's performance when they're really in character? And what the only mean? thing I always kind of bring up is what happened with Leo and Django Unchained. So wait, what was what's the question? Like before you say cut? Before you say cut. Yeah. Before you have to, as an individual, as an actor, as you know, someone who doesn't no longer feels comfortable in the scene. Yeah. How far are you willing to go? So I guess to give you context, like say for instance, like he brought up Django Unchained. Did you see Django? Yeah. So you remember the time when they were at dinner, at uh when he slammed the glass down, and he said, "You take your hands off that coffee table, they gonna blow a hole in your back." Uh -huh. Leo actually cut himself. Like he mean? wasn't like the glass wasn't supposed to break. Like he really cut his hand up in oh, real life. But they didn't stop rolling, so uh -huh. he continued to play it like it was a part of the scene. And he didn't, because he told him, don't cut. It was uh -huh. like, just keep going. So nobody cut, and they added that scene in there. So that they, wasn't they, supposed to happen. He said, don't cut no matter what before then? Well, Quint, well Quint normally doesn't. Like, he just, just let the scene, like, roll, yeah, out. Just let the scene the, roll out. But where the thing is, that where you gotta start questioning uh, you know, what you're willing to take before you ruin someone's performance is, uh, my man rubbing his blood on Kerry Washington's face. Are you that wasn't supposed to happen? No, that no. was like real blood. My man let his blood it really and put it smeared on. it on her face in the scene. Django? No, no, uh, Leo, Leo did. What? Leonardo Leo. did. Like when, when he when she was sitting there because he had found No, in Django, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He had really like when he I came in and he had did you this, he really smeared Can you put I, I know we're playing the game. You gotta go watch it real quick. Pull it up, please. Django. Leo, Leo's uh, dinner scene. Just pull it up. Django, Leo, Leo dinner scene. And before you watch it, would you let someone rub their blood on your forehead for off rip? And it was like, I read the script. It wasn't in the script, though. None of it's, that was it's, in the script. It's off rip. That's what I'm saying. I read the script and know that that's not a part. Yeah. No. And if you look at Carrie, you can tell she didn't want to do that. I mean, I would want my character to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I would she's, say cut, she's, but, she's but she's a slave. slave. And, and right now the tension in there is make one move and I'm going to kill you. Let's see. <laughs> but like, will you please set the dessert? You will be having a quake. That's a great question for everyone watching. If you've seen the film, you know the part we're talking about. Would you call cut or would you allow the actor to continue to express himself in character? This is all improv? Yeah, right when he broke the glass, the line the line isn't. But him breaking his stuff and when he started wiping it, that's all improv.
And see, they just kept going because he kept doing his lines. So he didn't stop. Boss battle, by the way. See, that's how, you know, Pat, when you want to play a game with some. Yeah. And if you notice, all of them are looking kind of like, uh, do we stop or... This whole scene was improv? Effort. We don't want to say the whole scene is improv. No, no, no. The only thing, Pat, is him cutting his hand and him continuing the scene and then rubbing his blood on Carrie's face. So I ask you again, would you allow that? I mean, you kind of gave me your answer. You're like, I'd be like, Ew, what are you doing? But, you, but in this context, she couldn't do that. There you yeah. go. You know, I would like to say that I would roll with it. Good stuff. Thank you. Who'd you beat? God. <laughs> Level three. I like, where do we go from here? I beat two guys who now actually make an appearance in the Castlevania uh, anime. Those two guys are actually in there. Now you gotta fight time itself. Jesus. Woo. Still weird to see Leonardo DiCaprio drop that in, bomb, right? <laughs> oh, and you got some money. I'm, I'm balling in here. Oh, he got money. Money. All right, uh, I beat it. I gotta pass this off. I feel. I don't. But it's just one of those maze type games. So yeah. get ready. If you so were, I wonder uh, what this does for continuity. Like, did they have to put new blood, blood on him for every scene? I don't know, Pat. I don't know, sir. All I know is, but you give me your answer. Now you're saying you would just go along with, it, huh? I think so. Okay. Because. I haven't seen him, him rub the blood yet, though. <laughs> Nigga. Um, I would like to say that I would stay in it. Even as weird as it, as weird as it sounds, I'd like to think I would stay in it. All right. But that is a lot. If it was like, all right, now I'm gonna drip this into your mouth. It's like, all right, what are we doing? <laughs> are you rewriting, you writing your own movie? Like. <laughs> I don't know, brother. I don't know. Cause something know. like that, if I was in the scene and I was like, yo, this nigga cut himself and he's still going, like I wouldn't I would be like, okay, this is a new scene. If if the director ain't ain't stopping it, then it's like this is yeah, he, we might roll with it. The worst part is if that happened and then the scene never made it. The director was like, oh, was No, great. I wanted it how I wrote it. Exactly. Yeah, we'll take that out. I'm just sitting there all bloody faced. Um, I don't see her getting actual blood rubbed on her face. Hold on. Are you sure it wasn't like when he went like this to her? Maybe. No, that, I think that's like the extended version. Oh wait, no, here it goes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, now that I've seen that one. She didn't even have time to process it. She was just like, oh! The, the shock. Oh! Did this? That's dope. What? That's pretty dope. What's dope? I think it's dope that he controlled the scene that much. Not yeah. only did that happen and he stayed in character, he made someone else commit to it. You, <laughs> he was, you, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I respect. I he do. was like, in his, mouth, in his mind, he was probably like, oh, shit. <laughs> he was like, mm, yeah, deliver lines. Jeez. And then she came, he was just like, oh. oh what? <laughs> she was like, yo, you commit to this shit, not me. <laughs> I do this in, and then imagine the director was like, perfect, let's do it again. Tarantino, <laughs> bro. Just like that. Uh, would you be shocked if that's how Tarantino talked right after he said cut? But then it's like, damn, I got it now. I didn't know, I didn't sign up for this. I gotta do, you gotta do this every scene now? Man, look. Let's run it four more times from every you angle. You are officially poisoned, Will. Oh, my guy? It's pretty good poison. I mean, it looks like he got the star in Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> my man's the same color as Abe. This dude's got some, some, uh, and Ooh, that's it. I died, I died. You died. Like blood pixels. Didn't even know Dragon Let me try this. Sun Let me die. play the symphony. Symphony of the night. It's just a symphony of the night. Castlevania, S-O-T-N, as they call it online. They like to give it an abbreviation. So oh, where, no. where do fans uh, see this in terms of like, like the best Castlevanias? Man, I think this one is up there as number one, bro. 
I mean, they've gone on to do really? uh, they've gone on to do a lot of Castlevanias for like the PS2s, PS3s. They went more into the 3D era, 3D like the 3D design but with still the whip side still. Scrolling? No, like full spectrum room. Really? I was about like to that. say I would hope you know like especially like you're in a castle. I would hope like you really like go off the walls with it. You know, especially if you're gonna kill Luigi in one of these castles. Big facts. So what is, I mean, it's called Symphony, Symphony of the, the Night. Are there like... You can hit that fire too, Pat, and it gives you hearts and money and stuff. What like fire? The, the fire little things lanterns. Oh, let's go. See. Cool. Fuck your decor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, oh here we go. Job, little baby. Is that a bat? I have no idea what that is. But there's creatures galore in this game. You have to get in, you have an encyclopedia. Every uh, enemy you end up hitting, it's like a, po a Pokédex. Mm -hmm. They end up... Uh, uh, keep he carries it stored the in encyclopedia? Them. I'm sorry? He carries the encyclopedia like he has a book? Yeah, but well, it, I mean, it's just not on him. No, he switched it out. I think he should keep keep that one. Oh, you get it to fight the boss again. Okay, here, here we go. Again? Like a boss. Yep, drop That's on down. You, you, Up and square is how, you, is how you throw that. So get ready to do that a lot when you're facing this boss. Right. Jump on down. Okay, man. Go lay it down there, man. To your right. right you see that big here, comes, here he comes. Go ahead. You're ready. Hops. Hit it. Oh, snap. You might want to do up and square. Oh, man. Uh, Watch out. That's it, you're done with it. No, no, wait, I have hard. limited amounts of those? Yeah, it's how oh, much hearts you have. Beat him up. Alright, come on. I've got no more tough square. Uh, oh, oh, oh man. God, no. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nah. Do I got any uh, blocks? Oh, they are <laughs> loading on you. Can, I, can I block Ooh, some of wow. these things that they're hitting me with? <laughs> you gonna go straight to the boss? Go straight to the boss, Flat? Oh, I'm gonna try, man. Go for it, man. This game is mighty difficult. Where's all these weapons? Where's the chain? Is chain specifically Simon? Uh, yeah. Alucard only has the, uh, the, the swords, and he has this ultimate weapon. It's like a wand. And every time you hit it, it just it lights everything up. It's a great, great special move. All right. Yeah, man. Castlevania. I never really got into it. I played the originals uh, maybe a level at a time, but never did a playthrough ever. I feel like there's been a lot of... Um, Bad DJ mixes to Castlevania songs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. A lot of mixtape covers that are Castlevania. You're definitely better Castlevania. using that weapon than the. Um, and how do you use that weapon? Up and square. And your best bet is to hit them when they're. Um, let the green dude drop with the spear, and then once the bat goes to pick them up, up and square, and then hit them both at the same time. Oh, nice. Okay, so we hit him. Now they're coming. Nope. Oh, word? Oh, they about to smoke you, bro. Oh, you, you really Come can't on. jump and do shit. Uh, nice. Oh, man. Oh. They are smoking you out. Oh, Jesus. Hey, oh, come on. Oh, damn. And we're playing Symphony of the Night because it is uh, Halloween. Oh. And as no, you see, my man just got bloodied all the way up. Ass kicked at Symphony of the Night. You got your... Castlevania kicked. Looks like my symphony was B flat in this game. I didn't get that one. Symphonies? There's some B flat. It's, it's nothing What's you can. What's the connection? Because it's Symphony of the Night. Give me the remote. Give me the remote. Give me the remote. I got. I got the music reference. I was trying to see like. It didn't go anywhere else. The connection. <laughs> it it was else. just a B flat. <laughs> All right, Cleo, let's see you kill this boss just for, for being will, just so we can see it. Yeah. Yes. And then, uh... I actually did beat him already, but, you know, we were too busy looking at Leo rub his blood all over Kerry Washington's face. We and... might, uh... We might leave this nigga in this castle. I have no, uh... No need to help this nigga escape. You don't want to see him get 206%? Man. Not at all. If you flip this castle upside down... It's even just... crazy. But think about it. Like, all this design right here. This will still be in the upside down castle. But you'd just be playing on the ceiling. And there were niggas out there that were like, this is a totally different game. It is, because they actually add new enemies. Did they do that with any other Castlevanias? I don't believe so. Well, you're making this look rather easy. Right. <laughs> I like how when we jumped, we couldn't hit nothing. You out? No, nah, not out yet. I'm just going to time it better. Nice. They don't see that this isn't working for them by now. Right. <laughs> I love that about video game bosses. They're just like, even though this isn't working, let's just keep doing it until we die. Oh, there he is. Oh, you can, oh, the duck, it's so simple. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you, do you have a block in this? Also, no. did you just slide? Oh, uh, shit. Ooh, nice. In between the little fireballs. See ya. Yeah, kill the liar. See ya, see ya, see ya. Nice. Yeah, his, his fireballs sound like a oh. chopper. Right? Ooh. Oh, wow. Whoa, yeah, that'd have been it for you. Damn. That's a little oozy clip right there. Be good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him. He done deal, oh. bro. I already, already beat this man. Oh, okay, man. Well, shit. I mean, mm. yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a dope way to uh, yeah, end yeah. off from the symphony of the night. Yeah, yeah. man. That was amazing, man. Getting a chance to relive my childhood with you guys, man. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is one of my I favorites. I get it. I get it, yeah. It's a really cool game, man. A lot of great bosses. You got to go to the end. I'm not going to tell you who's the boss, big bad boss at the Satan. end. I'm not going to tell you guys who the big bad boss is at the end. It's not Satan? It's not Satan. If we guess, can we guess it? You could try. Is it like an obvious one? You it's an obvious one. We're start is it Dracula? Nope. Is it Dracula's dad? Nope. Is it Jesus? Nope. Okay. Uh, Rick James? Nope. A um, priest? Nope. Alabaster Black? Uh, uh, an altar boy. Van Helsing? <laughs> that would be funny. No. <laughs> that would be funny. A werewolf? No. Hello, Mr. Richter. No! <laughs> oh, Please man. Please save me. I'm trying to live, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But I get it. I think that the old school arcade feel mixed with just trying to escape Dracula's castle, which is dope. And then like the music, it's very like yeah man. It's very like you said nostalgic, even though this is somewhat of a newer game. This is one of those games where you could put the actual CD into a uh, CD player mm -hmm. and you could listen to the whole soundtrack. And there was the a game? message. Yeah. yeah, there were a few that were like that. You could put yeah. this game into a CD, regular CD player, mm -hmm. and it would play the whole soundtrack. And there was a message, I believe, from Alucard in it. Yeah. He would say something. I don't remember what it is. Alucard is who? Uh, the guy we were just playing as. Alucard. I didn't really hear what you said. I see it now. Dracula. All right, he's like, yeah, bump this shit when you think of it. <laughs> bump this shit in the car, cuz. <laughs> well, for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I okay. think, uh, I think uh, visiting the actual, you know, Simon and Richter Castlevania should be next. You know, okay. so we can get the classic. Cause it always, I always thought this was kind of like with uh, up there with Metal Slug on those like side scrollers that I didn't really get the chance to play fully, but I always liked it when I played it. So yeah. let's do more of this. Let's, let's do, do more, more Castlevania. Man. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think this was a great choice for us to throw into the Halloween mix mm -hmm. here on Retro Gamings and Arcade Tokens. And I uh, can't wait for you guys to see what else we got planned next, man. We got so many more great games. Oh, yeah. um, be on the lookout for House of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Gamers Gauntlet, we're gonna be adding a few physical challenges to a couple games. Oh yeah. Yeah, Phantom Good. Fiction left for the rest of the month as well of October. Yes sir. Indeed. You're dressing up for Halloween, you gotta do something. I'm I'm dressed up now. As? I'm the dude from The Simpsons that got the comic book shot. So I put a blue shirt on. Hmm. Okay. Worse ending I was ever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you walked around on Halloween and said that, people would be like, okay, yeah, I see it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instantly accepted. That's, that's all I'm going for. I see it. I Not just, oh, that's a tight costume. Black guy thinks he's the comic book guy. I don't go for it. <laughs> you dressing up this, this year for Halloween, Pat? I'm going to be, it's actually fan given. I, I wore a scarf on one of my podcasts, and people said I should be Android 17. So I'm going to. Nice. Yo, do that. Yeah. I'm Question excited though. for this. Mm -hmm. Question though, are you gonna get an Android 18 to go with you for Halloween? Uh, maybe. That, they were brother and sister, so that's weird. But yeah, <laughs> that could possibly do you that. to cosplay it out. Run Run that. Yes. Hey, all right, let's let's go. Where's 18 at? Any uh, I was gonna say any blonde white girls <laughs> hit me up, but <laughs> <laughs> no. 18 we won't immediately do it that blonde way. white girls. We won't do it that way. And this has been another episode of Retro Gaming. Yeah. Happy spooky season, guys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Happy spooky season.